Saturday morning, um, beautiful Saturday morning. I've uh, just done a 5k. I was absolutely, I was actually quite happy with my run today. Um, I started off at a pace of five. I know they say not to uh, five, a seven. Um, started off at a pace of seven. I know they say you're not supposed to run too fast at the start, but sometimes. You could, well, they just say not to run at a fast pace, but then I suddenly slow up, but then I pace up again and I slow up. Um, so when you do do runs, try and pace it a little bit better than what I do. Um, so yeah, mine was around about a pace of um, 7.50 to 8.50 today. Um, so I was, I was pleased with that today. Got another car coming. Yeah, so, um, yes, very pleased with that run today. Um, I've done it in 41 minutes and 17 seconds. Um, the best I've done it in 5K is 35. And when I've done park run once, um, it was actually on my wedding anniversary. Um, I managed to get down to um, 30 minutes on a 5K. Mind you, park run was a flat. I'm running hills. So, I don't know where the beat the bleep is helping, it certainly is. I did, when I was running today, felt a little bit of burn in my lungs. So, uh, that must be good, huh? So, um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to go home. Because it's a beautiful day, I might do the garden. I hate gardening. Um, I did it the other day. I might even vlog it a bit for you, I don't know, speed up the footage. Um, but yeah, today is all about um, house work. Hubby's at work, so I can get on. So, see you guys later. Hi guys, it's Sunday today. I'm in my garden. Um, I thought I'd take a bit of time today um, to have a talk with you. Um, it's Mother's Day. Um, I'm feeling a little emotional. It's the first Mother's Day with my mum. Um, and as I've been going on the social media platforms, everybody's been saying, oh, happy Mother's Day. Totally their way. I totally get that. It's me. I'm not coping very well with it today. Um, so I just want to take time out to talk to people and say, keep doing what you're doing. It's my fault why I'm feeling the way I am. Okay, I'm not going to stop anybody from posting happy memories of their mums. Because I used to do that. I used to post happy memories of my mum. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's just really really hard for me to come around because I used to take her out to the pub um, have a alcoholic drink um, I used to um, have lunch with her, stuff like this so it's really the first time without my mum and it's hard it is hard and any of you out there who has lost a mum and it comes to Mother's Day you find the strength to not have a go at those that wants to put things on social media because they have a right to put stuff on social media it's free so they can put whatever they like on social media um, but however um, I just want to get out there that um, some people do wake up with their mum, some people 
do find it hard and uh, also um it's less than a month until i um until i do my run so also i want to take this opportunity um to anyone out there who wants to just give a little bit a pound i don't mind if it's a pound five pound like the anonymous donator um, gave me about 400 and set over 470 something um, but if you have got the time and you want to I'm not saying do it but if you want to please please donate a little to my Just Given Fund um, it's on Facebook it's on Twitter it's on Instagram um, you can message me and I can give you a link if you want to give some money to Kidney Research UK. It's a good course and I lost my mum to kidney failure. So um, if you could find it in your hearts to just give, just give a little. It would make my mother's day to my mum, in memory of my mum, a nice day. Thanks guys. Monday it's April Fool's so happy April Fool's Day um, my me and my husband went out shopping today and this is no April Fool but we did not buy any meat I think it's the first shopping spree we've done or this haul or whatever you want to call them that we've not got any meat um, I got myself my favorite ever cheese and that is a uh, Smoke applewood. I love this cheese. This if I ever go past cheese and I see smoke applewood, I have to have smoke applewood cheese. And then my husband's gonna start doing pack up when he goes to work. So um 
I've got this. So yeah, my husband's going to start doing some pack-ups. So we got himself a flask where he can, um, it keeps it, how many hours did it, it keeps it cold for 24 hours, it keeps it hot for 6 hours. I wouldn't mind one of these, but in, um, in a marble effect. But yeah, he's bought himself a little little flask, 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 burned it, flask, so right, yes, it's, um, it's April Fools, I want to know from you guys, what you did, did you prank somebody, or was you pranked, and what was the story behind the prank, and did you fall for it? Um, so far I have not had any April Fool's jokes come to me. I can't even remember any, really, April Fool's jokes that have happened to me. I know there's been some, but, um, I can't really remember any of them. So, comment down below. Have you been pranked? And how did they prank you? And what are you going to do to get your own back on? Nothing too too sinister, but what are you going to do to get your own back on? Um, today I'm just spending the day at home with hubby. I'm going to wash my face off um, because I thought I was going out, out today. And so I got all ready and, well, that could have been an April Fool, but my husband hasn't said April Fool, so I don't think it was. So, um... I'm going to wash all my face off now. I'm going to probably get in my Harry Potter onesies. And we've just picked out watching it. We've just watched the film and we've just both picked out on a really big bag of Tesco's onion rings. It had to be done. It just had to be done. So um, I don't know whether I'll do any more um, vlogging today. I don't know whether I'll do any more vlogging tomorrow. I'm back at work on Wednesday. My holiday is over. <laughs> but, um, yeah, don't think I'll be doing any more now until Thursday. But if I do, you'll see me again. Guys, I almost forgot to show you also what I bought. And it's this little headband. So let me just see if I can pop this on now. Um, let's just pop that in there. Now, so I'm going to try and pop this headband on. Just bear with me. Nope, I haven't got a hell on it. Yeah. What do you think? I was getting so fed up with my hair getting in my eyes when when my um fringe grows long that when I want to do stuff and I want it out the way, I can just pop it out the way. So guys, what do you think? Tell me. Do I look stupid? Do I look nice? Is it just Dyer, tell me. I need to know. Hopefully when my hair gets longer I'll get some more accessories. But I just wanted to um let's take this off. Sorry, I'm looking in my my mirror to get it right again. So yeah, I'm um, I'm trying to make myself feel better because my hair is really doing my head in at the moment. Obviously, I'm growing it, so um, maybe I'll put some footage on here of how short it was to how long it's got. So guys, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you enjoy your uh, April Fool's Day. Right guys, um, I've got my dinner, um, I was doing um, 
the fishless corn um, cornfish fingers. Um, I have done an omelette. It hasn't come out this time as well as last time. So, um, omelette I'm not going to show you because it don't look particularly advertising at the moment. I'm going to stick you guys just here. Actually, these are my um, corn. Corn fishless fingers. So, I'm going to try one now. Do you know what? I'm very surprised at form. These are very delicious. Mm. They've got the texture of um, fish fingers. Oh, excuse me. And texture of, um, uh, of fish fingers, normal fish fingers. <coughs> the crust and the breadedness is like, <coughs> oh, excuse me, went down the wrong way. Um, the breadiness on the outskirts is like a fish finger and it even tastes like a fish finger. You know it's not a fish finger, but it tastes like a fish finger. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Keeps going down the wrong way. <coughs> Excuse me. Corn, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I like these and I don't like a lot of products of corn. I don't mind the mints. Um, I like the mints in a spaghetti bolognese. But these are delicious. Oh, well, I've got my um, omelette now. I am going to finish these off. They're bloody lovely. Oh. Corn, 10 out of 10 for them. Mm. And I don't usually like corn, but they are really nice. See you guys later. All right, guys, this is my meal of the day. I've got Linda McCartney's vegetarian uh, pies with leek and sweet potato and carrot mash. Um, with the sweet potato and carrot mash, I put salt in it, butter, almond milk, um pepper and garlic gotta have the garlic and then we've got some leeks as well so i'm just going to pop you on the side and um, i'm going to taste test the um pies for you and my concoction of my sweet potato and carrot mash right guys here we go go for the mash first like my garlic mm. that is a triumph that is very nice and now I'm going to try the pie crust is very very flaky um, so I think there's lentils and stuff in there and it looks like gravy oh hot hot mm. That is really nice. That is very nice. So yeah, I think we're gonna have another. It um it looks like it's a meat pie, but it's not. You can tell it's not a meat pie. It's got gravy in it. You can see it looks like lentils they've got in it and beans. So let's try now. Mmm. Linda McCartney, perfection again. I think I've got to, I've got to go. I've got to go and eat this.